Hey YouTube, it's Masterwolf 1212 here. I'm making this video as an entry for Rizik 2's uh, competition, or I should say contest. He's giving away a lot of great stuff to people that are just starting out their system. And that is so lucky for me because I am just starting out my new system here. Uh, what I got here, I just picked this up a few weeks ago, is a TC Sound TC3000, still really new, still brand new, still stiff, I can barely push that thing down. Uh, TC3000, 3000 watt amp subwoofer with a, a TC9 3 horsepower magnet on it, 3 inch voice coil. Uh, now, the amp I'm powering uh, the amp I'm powering this thing with is only wired into the car with, I think, 8-gauge wire, 4 or 8-gauge, I don't really know, because I really needed wiring quick um, when, I, when, I, when I first got it, um, and I was on a short budget, so I had to get really cheap wire, and uh, now that I'm bumping it up to 3,000 watts, that amp's going to be demanding a lot of power for my alternator, and uh, with the wire I have, it's just not going to do it. I feel like the amp's going to clip um, not get enough power, so I really need that zero gauge wire. Um, I'll show you what he's giving away. He's giving away a lot of good stuff. Perfect for beginners. Uh, not beginners, but people that are starting a new system. 12.5 feet of Stinger zero gauge, HPM zero gauge. That's great stuff. Uh, Stinger's really good stuff. Some uh, small bits of zero gauge wire. Some uh, wire, some zero gauge wire with terminals and stuff. Go to Brizik 60, Brizik 2. I'm sorry, channel. Subscribe. I really like his system because I'm a big fan of DC subwoofers, uh, especially their XL series. Those are some 386 subs. Um, he's also giving away a super nice JVC, uh, JVC head unit, uh, satellite radio, I believe that is. Um, it also has, I thought I saw a uh, USB, sorry, I keep right clicking because I'm standing up and leaning on the mouse, but uh, he's giving away also that JVC, so it's really nice. Um, I haven't even built the box for this thing yet. I can show you the wood in a second. It's going in a uh, before displacement 4.0 cubic foot enclosure, before displacements, after displacements with bracing and porting and the subwoofer. It's 3.5 cubic foot. It's tuned to 32 hertz with a 6 inch arrow port. So it's going to be really nice. So uh, here's a good look at the subwoofer. 15. So, uh, I really, really, really want to get this done right. That JVC head unit is so nice because I'm tired of my old head unit. The, the low pass and high pass filters just don't work right on it. I swear they're not they're not working correctly or something, or they're just bad. Because uh, I really, really need a new head unit and definitely a all new wire because that wire is not going to power my amp. This thing is going to demand a lot of power, especially since it's quad 1.4 ohms and I'm going to wire in p series parallel, so it's only going to be at one ohm. So that means there's going to be low resistance. So that amp's going to be drawing power just like crazy. Um, it's, I'll show you, I can't show you the amp at the moment. I can post a follow-up video of the amp, because it's kind of late at night, uh, but I'm going to go show you the wood uh, and the port, uh, so let's go. So this isn't the car that it's going in. It's actually going in a 2002 Honda Civic DX Coupe. Uh, but of course I can't keep all this wood in here, so I'm just using our uh, car, our big car that we're getting rid of in like two days. Uh, <laughs> we're getting a new SUV, so here's the wood. Uh, I know it's kind of scattered out, kind of disorganized, but there's no way I can keep it organized. And I'd rather keep it in the car than in the house, because we actually just got our house painted and it's messy already. So uh, anyways, this is the PVC tube with a diameter of six inches. I'm sorry about the layout. I'm doing this at, mm, I think, 11. So uh, it's pretty dark, but this is a six inch arrow port. Uh, well, it's PVC tubing, but of course I'll make it into an arrow port. I ordered some flares for it. Um, hopefully it'll fit. I'm actually thinking I'm just going to heat with the heat on the bottom of this. Uh, so I don't know why I flipped it either, and could be the bottom. But uh, what I'll do is I'll heat the bottom up to the point where it's kind of soft and push it against a big bowl, and it'll flare it out. Uh, but I'm hopefully, hopefully it'll fit. So here is all the wood. Um, it looks pretty small through the camera. Of course, measurements afterwards are uh, 
forward cubic foot uh, before displacement. And I am doing bracing. This thing's just going to fit in the trunk of the Honda. So uh, here it is. Like I said, I'm sorry about the light. This car is actually pretty bright. It has a nice light. <laughs> Uh, it's just a minivan, but uh, so here is the wood. So like I said, I am looking for the uh, JVC head unit. I really need that, but above all, if I can't get that, um, I'm I'm really looking for that zero gauge wire because my amp's not going to be able to do the full 3,000 watts on the wiring I have. Uh, I'm already going to uh, hopefully get a second battery, but none of that's planned yet. But uh, I saw this competition. I'm like, I got to throw this up because um, I'm in need of all that, all that equipment. So sorry that it's so jumpy. It's cutting. Uh, my camera's being stupid. It, uh, the memory card is kind of screwed up, so sometimes it stops. Uh, so sorry about that. But uh, yeah, so we, oh man, it keeps skipping up. I'm sorry about that. So uh, yeah, so this is all the equipment I have at the moment. I have the enclosure, I have the woofer, but uh, I'm in need of, of the wiring, need of the head unit. So uh, hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to uh, put that into good use, because trust me, it is going into very good use. So uh, uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this. Hopefully you'll consider me in your voting, in your tally. So uh, all right, you guys, I'll see you later.